Hi guys, welcome back to Face Prep. I hope you guys are doing good and I hope you guys are preparing for placements as well. This video will be of great help for your placement preparation. I'm going to teach you a shortcut on how to calculate cubes faster. Now why should I learn how to calculate cubes faster might be the question on your mind. Now very simple, when you sit for placement exams like TCS, Infosys, AMCAT, E-Litmus, you might get questions from topic simplification approximation where you should calculate cubes and squares, right? For example, you might come across a question 52 cube where you cannot sit and solve 52 into 52, get an answer and multiply with 52 once again to get the answer of 52 cube. Now it's gonna take a lot of time where you won't be having that time in the first place so this video will help you you know to calculate cubes faster from number 1 to 99 right so let us start let me ask the first question how many of you guys know the cubes from 1 to 9 like when i ask question 9 cube can you tell it quick you should if not let's look at the chart right so I'll write cubes from 1 to 9. So what is 1 cube? It is 1. What is 2 cube? It is 2 into 2 into 2, right? So it is 8. 3 cube? It is 27. 4 cube? It is 64. 5 cube? It is 125. I'm sure most of the people will know the cube chart from 1 to 5 at least, right? Like there might be some problems from 6 to 9. Now let us sort that out. What is 6 cube? Now 6 cube is basically 36 into 6. Now if I forget 6 cube, like let's say I'm forgetting 6 cube, how I'm going to remember or how I'm going to calculate the 6 cube? It's going to be like this. I know it is 36 into 6. I know 6 square is 36. Pretty simple, right? 36 into 6. Now I'm going to do this in my mind, but for your for the benefit of you guys, I'll just solve it here, right? So what I'll do is, I'll just write it as 30 plus 6 into 6, right? I'm going to split this number, 36 as 30 plus 6. I know 30 into 6 is 180 plus 6 into 6 is 36. So 180 plus 36, now it's easy for me to calculate, right? So it is 216. Similarly, I'll calculate for the other numbers. 7 cube so 49 into 7 how will i do it in my mind 50 minus 1 into 7 50 into 7 is 350 minus 7 is 343 so 7 cube is 343 you got it right what is 8 cube it is similarly 64 into 8 60 plus 4 into 8 i'll just split the number 64 as 60 plus 4 into 8 so i'll get it as 512. What is 9 cube? It is 81 into 9. 80 plus 1 into 9. So 80 into 9 is 720 plus 9. It is 729. And 10 cube will be 1000. So 1 to 10. I've just written for numbers 1 to 10. It is very important to know cubes from 1 to 10. We have, I have seen a lot of people will be remembering cubes till 40, 50 and all, which is like useless because we know the shortcut, how to calculate that. You don't want to remember till 1 to 50 or 1 to 40, right? You just have to remember 1 to 10. Now, if I ask a question, what is 8 cube? You should be immediately telling it as 512, right? You should not waste that time, right? That's very important basics for this shortcut, right? Now, as I told already, I'm going to teach how to calculate cubes faster for numbers between 1 to 99 right so there are four types there are four types of numbers between 1 to 99 so type one number right the first type the numbers starting with 1 the numbers starting with 1 so for example like 11 cube 12 cube 19 cube 18 cube how to calculate like it has a different method right now second numbers ending with 1 so numbers ending with 1 31 81 51 so this kind of numbers will have different shortcuts third duplex number so what is duplex number same numbers like 22 33 44 77 kind of numbers you will have a different method 
and four others other than the first three category whatever number like for example 74 or again 52 right similar numbers I have another method so all these three all four methods will have same basics right but a different kind of methodology in between that's it so you have to remember the basics that is this 1 to 10 cube also I'm expecting you guys already know squares right so using this two we can easily solve or we can easily calculate cubes faster from 1 to 99 now let's go to type 1 numbers starting with 1 let's take an example 12 cube right now watch the steps carefully right you are going to practice for the other nine numbers or I'll, I'll just probably take another example but you're going to practice for the rest of the numbers starting with one so how many numbers are there there are nine numbers 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 right i'm going to teach you 12 cube right what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this 12 as it is right one two i'm just going to write 12 as it is one two this is the first step what did i do I just wrote the same number here right now the next step I'm going to square the last digit I'm going to square the last digit so what is the square of 2 it is 4 now the next step I'm going to cube the last digit right so 2 cube is 8 so I'll repeat it I wrote the number as it is then I squared that last digit and I cubed that last digit and I wrote it next to next right now I'm going to leave out the last two digits I'm going to forget the last two digits I'm going to concentrate only on the middle digits got it I'm going to leave out the last digits I'm going to concentrate on the middle digits now what I'm going to do with this middle digits is that I'm going to double that numbers right what is the double of two it is four and here it is Eight, and I'm going to write it down clear right so now the next step I'm going to add it pretty simple so this will be 8 4 plus 8 is 12 2 here and 1 carry over 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 1 7 and 1 as it is so the answer is 1 7 2 8 right let us look at a different number let's say 14 cube right so what's the first step I'm going to write the number as it is 1 4 what is the next step I'm going to square the last digit what is 4 square it is 16 so write 16 as it is right now I'm going to cube this 4 what is 4 cube it is 64 right so simple right the first layer first step is clear a number as it is square and cube now what is the next thing I'm going to skip I'm going to ignore the last and the first digit right 164 I'm going to ignore I'm going to double this middle digits and write it below so it is 8 here it is 32 here pretty simple right now I'm going to add it now here you have to be very careful how am I going to add the 64 should I write the 64 as it is or only 4 here exactly you have to write only 4 here and take 6 as the carryover right I'm just going to write the 4 here and take the 6 as a carryover 16 plus 32 is 48 48 plus 6 is 54 so 4 here and 5 as the carryover you got it now 4 plus 8 it is 12 12 plus 5 it is 17 so 7 here 1 as a carryover so 1 plus 1 is 2 so the answer is 2744 this is how you calculate cubes for the number starting with 1 pretty easy so I want you guys to practice it for the rest of the numbers so that it will be easy for you when it comes in the examination right you will do it quickly right so I hope it is clear now let's go to type 2 so type 2 is ending with 1 let's take an example let's say 21 cube what did we do in type 1 starting with 1 we just wrote the number as it is from left hand side right for example 12 cube we wrote 1 2 then we squared 2 then we cubed 2 then we skipped that is ignored the first and the last digit then we middle that is in the middle number the middle digits we doubled it 
then we add it. We are going to do the same thing here but one difference instead of writing from left to right we are going to write from right to left. So what I am going to do I am going to write it as 1 2 right then I am going to square this number which is 4 then I am going to cube this number which is 8 that is the last digit from right to left. This will be the last digit from right to left right. So I am going to square this number and I am going to cube this number. Again, I am going to ignore the first and the last digit which is 8 and 1 and I am going to double the middle digits that is 4. So here it should be 8, here it should be 4. Now I am going to add it, pretty simple. 1, 6, 12, 1 carry over and 9. So the answer will be 9, 2, 6, 1. So what is the difference between the first type and the second type? It is writing from left to right. And here it is writing from right to left. A pretty simple way to remember, here 1 comes the last, so I'll place 1 in the last digit. There in the first type, 1 comes in the first digit, so I'll start from 1. Pretty clear, right? So one more example let's take. Let's take 31 cube. Now what should I do? I should write from right to left. So 1, 3. Now what should I do? I should square this 3 which is 9, then I should cube this 3 which is 27. Now next, I am going to ignore the first and last digit and I am going to double the middle digits. So here it will be 18 and here it will be 6. Now let's add it. So it will be 1, here it is 9, 9 plus 18 it is 27. So 7 here and 2 as the carryover, 27 plus 2 it is 29. So the answer will be 29791. So the answer for 31 cube is 29791. I want you guys to practice for the rest of the numbers so that you will be like very quick, right? So in, in, when you want to calculate a number ending with one cube, you can be very quick if you follow this method. Now let's go to type 3. So the next type is same numbers. That is the multiple of 11, right? Let's take an example. 22 cube. Now here it is kind of different from the first two types. Now since it is the same number I can take any one number right. So 22 cube I can take either this two or this two because it's same two right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cube two here and I'll write it as 8, 8, 8 and 8 right. What I'm doing is I'm just taking one digit out of it like anyways it's the same digit I can take any one so I'm going to cube 2 here so which is 8 8 8 and 8 similarly I'm going to ignore the first and the last digit and I'm going to double the middle digits which is 16 and 16 and I'm going to add it so 8 8 plus 16 is 24 so 4 here and 2 carry over 24 plus 2 is 26 6 here and 2 carry over so the answer will be 10648. Pretty simple, right? Let's take another number, 33 cube. Now what should I do? I should cube 3 and write it 4 times, which is 27, 27, 27 and 27. Next, as usual, I'm ignoring the first and last and middle, doubling the middle numbers, which is 54 and 54. Now we have to add it. Now you have to be a bit careful while adding kind of big numbers because many people will miss it out here. So 27, you cannot write 27 here, it should be 7 and 2 as the carryover. What is 27 plus 54? It is 81, 81 plus 2 it is 83, 3 here and 8 as a carryover and 81 plus 8 is 89, so 9 here and 8 as a carryover. 27 plus 8 is 35. So the answer is 35937. Now I want you guys to try the same thing for numbers like 44 cube, 88 cube, 77 cube so that it will become easy for you when it comes during the examination. Now let's go to type 4. Now this is the last type that is other numbers other than starting from 1, ending with 1 and double numbers that is the same numbers like 22 33 the rest of the other numbers comes in this category so let's take an example let's take 24 cube 
Now watch closely, it's slightly different from the other three methods, right? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this first digit that is 2 and I'm going to cube it, that is 8. I'm going to take the last digit that is 4, again I'm going to cube it, which is 64. And I'm going to write it here, you got it right? First digit 2, I'm going to cube it and I'll write it as 8 here. The last digit 4, I'm going to cube it and I'm going to write it as 64 here. Now what about the middle digits is the next step. Now what I'll do is, I'll take the first digit and I'll square and multiply it with the second digit, right? I'll repeat it. Take the first digit, square it and multiply it with the second digit. So what should I do? 2 square, which is 4. 4 into 4 is 16. So I'll write it here. Similarly, I'll take the last digit, square it, multiply it with the first digit. So 4 square is 16. 16 into 2 is 32. Clear? Simple. I'll repeat it. 24 cube, that is the other number category. What should we do? The first digit cube and write it here. The last digit cube and write it in the last place, right? And this first digit, square it and multiply it with the second digit and write it here. This second digit, square it and multiply it with the first digit and write it here. And now what should we do? Yes, you guessed it, right? Skip the first and last digits and double the middle digits. So here it will be 32 and here it will be 64, right? Now we have to add it. So 4 here, 6 as carryover. 32 plus 64 is 96, 96 plus 6 is 1 or 2, so 2 here and 10 as a carryover, 16 plus 32 is 48, 48 plus 10 is 58, so 8 here and 5 as a carryover and 8 plus 5 is 13, so the answer will be 13824. I'm sure it is pretty like complicated than the first three categories but it will be quite easy when you practice right there will be around 63 numbers where you have to practice right so 73 numbers uh, taking this out 10 so there will be 63 numbers other than the first three categories if you practice this it's going to be easy now let's take a number 52 cube so what is it let's calculate it I'm going to cube this number and I'm going to write it here which is 125 I'm go going to cube this second, that is the last digit here and I'm going to write it here which is 8. What's the next step? I'm going to square this number and multiply it with the next digit. So 25, 5 square is 25, 25 into 2 is 50. Similarly, I'm going to square this last digit and I'm going to multiply it with the first digit. So 2 square is 4, 4 into 5 is 20. Clear? Now, I will ignore the first and the last digit. And I'm going to double the middle digits. So it's going to be 140. Now let's add it. So 8 here, 40 plus 20 is 60. So 0 here and 6 as a carryover. 100 plus 50 is 150. 150 plus 6 is 156. 6 here and 15 as a carryover. 125 plus 15 is 140. So the answer is 140608. Now since I'm explaining it to you, it might take a little more time, more than 10 seconds probably. But when I solve it, we can do it very quickly. But you need to practice a lot. I hope the cubes, like how to calculate cubes faster from number 1 to 99 is now easy. Right, whatever number you ask, I have categorized into four categories. Like type 1 starting with 1, type 2 ending with 1, type 3 same numbers and type 4 the other numbers. So whatever number you ask me now, I can easily solve. I have that confidence that I can solve cubes for numbers from 1 to 99 easily. I'm sure you will also get that confidence when you practice a lot of numbers using the four strategies or shortcuts that I've taught you now. So all the best. Meet you in the next video again.